Welcome to another episode of Thoughts While Drinking Coffee. Do you have any type of guiding principles for your artwork or your photography? At one point, I think I started questioning kind of where I fit in. And so I started thinking about these things. And I came up with five guiding principles for my art. And so I just wanted to share them quickly. So the first one is that I don't see myself just as a photographer. Photography is just my canvas. I see myself more as an artist. And the reason I think that is because I like to create fine art photography, in this case, which connects. It appreciates the things around you. And it tells a story, either a story that I have or a story where when someone's looking at the picture, they remember something. My second principle is just getting out there and exploring and discovering. Whether it's local or whether it's somewhere you've never been, the idea behind this principle is to get out and find those everyday things around us that shape us and see them in ways that just haven't been noticed yet. And that can be done in your local hometown, your backyard, or someplace you've never been before. So I feel it's really important to just get out, essentially. And that's really the essence of my second principle of explore and discover. My third principle is a little trickier. It's don't shoot for commercial gain alone. And I know some of you are probably trying to build a business out of your fine art photography, which is great. I know others of you just really enjoy taking pictures. And if you make some extra money on the side, that's awesome also. But I think in either case, you need to be careful about shooting for commercial gain. And what I mean by that more specifically is only shooting the money shots. Those would be the sunsets, the sunrises of landmark locations that are popular. So if you're only shooting compositions for commercial gain, you're losing a lot of opportunity to actually develop your own style, which would make you your own unique artist. My fourth principle is to take it like I saw it. And what I mean by that is get your composition right in camera. And so that way, you don't have to remove a lot of things out of the picture or crop the picture down. That does tend to slow you down a little bit more because you're going to do more review in field than otherwise. Um, but I think that by doing so, it creates a better picture and it also captures that moment and that story that you're trying to tell. My fifth principle is pretty simple and a little cliche, I'll admit, but it's just be you. Find your style and stick with it. You can find your style by staying true to your artist statement and your guiding principles. And so that's why I think it's important that we create these because persistence and consistency will eventually pay off for you. So what are some of your guiding principles as a fine art photographer? I love to read them and be inspired and inspire others. So please post them down in the comments and thank you for joining. Also, don't forget to click that subscribe button and we'll see you on the next cup.